Morning everyone, it is Friday and I have a super busy day today. I don't even have enough time to really introduce this vlog. I am going to head now to Pilates, which is near where I used to live. So now I don't actually live that far, so I've got to leave quite early. Actually, I'm lying. I'm going to the doctors first and then I'm going to Pilates. TMI, but my stomach cramps are getting worse and worse every month and I thought they're meant to get better as you get older and I'm on the pill. So I'm going to go to the nurse and check that out and just say why the hell do I suffer so bad every month? So that's where I'm going now. I just realized that I didn't explain why I'm fully made up, but half of me isn't. I'm going to Pilates, but then I'm kind of pretty much going straight to Stylist Live. Me and Anna are doing a talk there, I'll explain it later, which is why I'm wearing so much makeup to do Pilates. I normally go bare face. Okay, I'm home and I didn't film any Pilates because it's a bit awkward, there's other people in the class really, but I did quite well this week. I've just rushed home and I haven't got much time actually. Today is basically Stylist Live, Stylist Magazine. If you guys aren't from the UK, I think it's UK only, maybe it's not. But it started in London, it basically is a free magazine you get every Wednesday and you it started off like you just get it on the tube. I think it's easier to get now and you can get it on iPads and stuff. But it's like one of the best magazines and it's free, so... I've always loved Stylist and they've got a big like three day event in London, it's called Stylist Live and they've got talks and stands and like all cool stuff going on aimed at kind of the 18 to 30 female demographic which is kind of what the same audience that I have and so me and Anna are going to go and do like a quick talk, it's not really a beauty chat because it's kind of a different setup but I think we're going to do like a get to know us Q&A type thing and we have no idea how many people are coming because we're not on the website so the only people who know about it are the people that we've told so it might be quite a small crowd which would be nice actually so basically I've got to meet them there in like an hour and I still look like this that's why I have makeup on so I'm going to have a quick kind of body shower and I'm gonna do my hair and figure out what to wear that rhymes in the meantime I also have a phone call about my best friend's hen that I'm planning there's only a month left. It's getting intense. Okay, my hair's done. I got it cut, by the way, the other day at Hershison's. I normally go to the one in Harvey Nichols, but my hairdresser's away for a month. So I went to the one in Conduit Street and had a guy called Premley, and he was great, and he was hilarious. It made the whole thing go very fast. And yeah, I like it. It's short. All right, I need to pick what to wear. I just don't know, I don't know. Maybe dress and tights. Okay, I think I'm gonna wear this kind of high-necked, jumper dress thing. I don't think I have to be smart. I just have to kind of look like me. I do need to touch up my face makeup though. I think my eyes are okay. I need to put some contour on. Phone call took longer than I thought and now I feel like I'm gonna be late, which I probably won't. I'm never late, but I'm gonna rush there now. I'm here at the design center in Islington. Must turn right and not crash. We're here and it's huge. Anna's not here yet. She's running a little bit late, but I need to get some crisps or something. I'm so hungry. Look how big it is. I'm gonna go for a walk around afterwards, but we've got like 10 minutes and I think we're talking in that stage there. Joanna McGarry, who's the beauty editor of Stylist, is gonna kind of intro us and do a little Q&A. Um, that's about all. Anna's joined us. You made it. I think I might sneeze. Oh, ready. <laughs> think of a pink elephant. <laughs> oh, this is great vlogging material. Are you looking forward to our chat on stage? All right, we're gonna head down to the stage. Um, we've got like a 15 minute Q&A chat and then a 15 minute meet and greet if there's anyone there to meet and greet. We finished our little Q&A thing and it was so good. Joanna McGarry was a really good interviewer, wasn't she? She was amazing. It was really fun. I could have chatted for ages. And then we met loads of you guys afterwards, so thank you to any of you guys who came. It was lovely. Oh, I've got hair in my mouth. I might try and quickly have a look around, because I really want to... I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we like this. I feel like this way. I think I'm going to quickly have a look around, because there's some cool stuff in there. Let's go home and pack. You can, po you can pose and pretend you're on the front cover of Stylist. There's so much stuff here. Alright, I think I've got to go home. That was probably one of my favourite events that me and Anna have ever spoken at. Just because it's such a cool event, there was so much cool stuff going on and I feel like everyone in the audience was just like a 20-something Londoner, which is basically me. So I feel like I had so much in common with everyone and it was really great to chat and loads of people who like were working there also read our blogs. Met some really cool people and it was very short but sweet. I wish I could have spent longer there. I am now rushing home 
because I need to pack a suitcase. Oh my God, I take long, I normally take weeks to pack, so this is really rushed for me. I need to pack a suitcase for the weekend. Have I told you guys what we're doing today? I don't think we have. We are going to Dalesford Farm for the weekend. Dalesford Farm's like a brand. You can buy the food in shops, but they also have cottages that you can stay at at the weekend. It's in the Cotswolds. And we're going as a surprise for my one of my really good friends, 30th. This has been a surprise for about a year. He hasn't known. We've kept it quiet. His wife, who's my best friend, organized it. It has been so hard to keep it secret. I nearly ruined it this weekend, this week, because I messaged the wrong WhatsApp group saying like, oh, Rob hates us because he thinks that we haven't done anything for his 30th. I sent that to the group that Rob was in, but I saved it and it's been really awkward and now he thinks that I've like got problems with him. It's just so awkward, all for this bloody surprise. So I can't wait tonight when we turn up, we're gonna knock on the door, he's already gonna be there and we're gonna surprise him and then we're gonna spend the whole weekend together. There's like two, four, six, eight of us. Yeah, eight of us going. It's gonna be all snuggly and wintry and cozy. We're gonna play board games, eat amazing food. I can't wait. So, I need to head home, pack, finish up for the day, finish doing my emails, and then we're driving to the Cotswolds. So excited. I'm sitting down having some pasta and butter and parmesan because that's all we have. We have no food shopping here, and I'm so hungry I haven't eaten all day, really. So this is the plan. I have an hour to pack, so it's gonna be like supermarket sweep. I'm gonna go into my bathroom, grab whatever naturally feels like it's part of my day routine, pack it up. <laughs> Okay, I have my Disney hoodie to relax in and some cashmere socks. My pyjamas are currently drying. I've got like a comfy shirt for Sunday that I'm going to wear with black jeans. Blue jeans for tomorrow that I'm going to wear with my big comfy polo neck because it's meant to be freezing up in Oxford or Cotswolds, wherever I'm going. Uh, vest top, t-shirt for relaxing in, tracksuit bottoms. And then that's all my makeup. That's all my skincare, body care, hair care, straighteners. I think that's everything. I'm going to take my hat. It's meant to be it's meant to be very cold this weekend so this should come in handy oh my god I was just emptying my handbag and transferring stuff into another bag for the weekend and I've just realized that my Sophie Hulme bag which was an absolute fortune from Liberty I was trying to get something out and I realized that okay you can't really see maybe you can there there is a giant rip that's one big massive hole can you see that what the hell? I'm going to take it back to Liberty because they're normally really good at things like this. So I really hope they can do something about that. I don't have a traveller at the moment. None of my perfumes are small enough to travel with. So when that's the case, I normally just take my perfume and basically spray it onto my case so that my clothes smell of my perfume for the weekend. This really nice girl came up to us um, at the stylist event this morning and she... I don't remember if she owns a brand or works on the brand. Basically, she gave us some really lovely gifts so I thought I'd show you, the brand's called Maria Allen and they do like wooden kind of handmade jewellery. Look how cute this necklace is, she was wearing this and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to open the other things, I'll show you what else she gave us. So, so sweet and generous. Ah, coasters, very cool, love those. Oh my god, this is so sweet, it's basically an L, a wooden L luggage tag. Love that, she said that the company's based in Brighton. Um, they work out of a little workshop, so if you want to go check it out, I will link it below. Very, very sweet stuff. Thank you. I absolutely love the necklace. I'm going to make a really quick drink and then we are going. We're going to go meet Gemma at my parents' house because it's like a middle ground place and then we're going to drive together up to the Cotswolds and we're going to surprise Rob. He has no idea we're coming. It's so funny. He's like, we're trying to arrange like a fake birthday thing on Sunday night so he doesn't like sus like think doesn't suspect anything but he really isn't anyway he's like properly thinks we're just doing something Sunday night so I can't wait to see his face I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog when I'm there I'm gonna try and vlog it so that you guys can see it because it's a really cool place but I don't know if everyone who I'm with wants to be in the vlog so it might be lots of kind of montage and stuff but I'll try my best to vlog as much as I can we're taking some sh we've still got so much champagne because we moved in and got engaged at the same time so we have loads of champagne I just love that Lauren Perry has LP on it. It's just, I feel like it's my personalised champagne every time. We've come to a petrol station to get some snacks for the journey. Um, oh, I can't remember what I wanted to get. Um, Gemma's going to buy cherry tomatoes and an apple. Mm -hmm. By the way, Gemma, Anna has requested a What's in My Fridge video with you. Oh. So let me know if you guys want a Gemma What's in My yes. Fridge video. Yes, of course you do. <laughs> We're 30 
minutes away now and we're trying to we haven't got any signal but we're trying to tell the group chat because obviously they're gonna have to like get Rob to answer the door um, so that's what's happening now so I'd update you it's like pitch black Rich is used to driving in this because he's from the country but this scares the living crap out of me literally can't see anything in front of you it's really cool on the camera though <sighs> so much because Gemma behind me here is messaging SJ who's obviously Rob's wife I don't know if you guys know all these people I'm trying to explain um and blonde one. yeah the blonde one and she's just like we're, we're trying to message we're like 15 minutes away and apparently Rob like found like they did <laughs> they did on a car date or delivery and he was like why have you got so much milk because obviously all of us are coming and she's like oh they must have got it wrong the delivery apparently now he's questioning why there's so many keys and like apparently being so annoying asking so many questions but he just said like them about the fake phone calls. I'm making oh another god. fake phone call. Oh my god, she's having to make fake phone calls. And also he said, Oh, we must come back here with Lily and Rich and Gemma and Ben. We're gonna be there in like 15 minutes. He doesn't know. I can't wait. It's so funny. We're here. Oh my god, we're here and we just don't know where we're going. And it's so Lily much so nice. Oh. No, I don't think you should call. We're here. We're gonna leave all our cases right. in the car. We're in the wrong side. Wait. What? Stop! Or I'm gonna gonna go we have to try and sneak in I really need the toilet I think I'm gonna wait myself I think this is the house by the fire pit the two table and two chairs why the table and chair We are here and hello. <laughs> I'm the most unrelaxed person in the world. That was hilarious. I, I need to watch. Actually, I, have, I filmed Rob. Back. I need to watch the footage back. Literally the funniest thing. Like, he was he was really surprised and then really angry because I think he's realised how good we all are lying to him. This place is amazing. I can't even begin to show you. Look at this kitchen. <laughs> amazing. Is that your? Is that his? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's his thing. We had a really lovely dinner in the restaurant, and now we're back at the cottage. And I got into my pajamas. We're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna play ja games, James, drink, eat, have a cup of tea, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning, everybody. I've been down here for a while now and I'm going to be doing SJ's makeup today because... <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Panic! Um, she's always wanted to know how to do her eyeshadow so I said that I will, I'll give it a go and show her. And I want to see what, it, she'll look, what she looks like with brown because you always wear black, thick black eyeliner, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah that. that's I good. Do. Right, so this is her makeup bag, this is mine. You've bought quite a lot, Ash. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> so I'll show you what I end up doing. Okay, I'm going to use a tiny little bit of foundation, not everywhere, and then bronzer. Why is Rich up a tree? He's having a photo shoot with Amy. He's so weird. That's really a weird thing to do, just the two of them. Okay, she's just doing her mascara, and then I'll show you what I did. What did I use? I used the Viseart matte palette is that colour and a bit of that and then a bit of that as a liner and then MAC Terry, uh, Teddy eyeliner as well so she normally wears loads of black eyeliner so this is quite to close your eyes oh pretty <laughs> we're just making some breakfast Esther's trying attempting to do the eggs but they're cracking <laughs> we have an argo and none of us really know how to use it and I'm making avocado but we have no lemon so it might get brown Boys just got back from their group run. How was your run? Great. Right. Literally running across well, I'll take your shoes cows. Off, huh? With cows? You made it back. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what? <laughs> so 
So the boys all went for a run while the girls made breakfast, which is just far too stereotypical for my liking. And um, we've kind of given up. I just did avocados, and Gemma's been left with the eggs and the beans. Gemma's the only one that knows how to use the agar. Gemma is in her element. And the boys are doing weird double press ups still. It's just weird. Yeah, but Alright, I've got my hat on. I've got my, well, my barber wellies on. Gemma's wellied up. Ready? Yeah. I think we're going to go have a look in the shop. I had a little peek this morning. It's amazing. And then we're going to go for a walk. Gemma, you're not in a coat or a hat. Ben's gonna bring it. You two look like sisters. You're like in matching outfits. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in my Gemma, you're gonna die at the shop. So this is the food shop, the home shop. There. Yeah, but the food shop, isn't this what you're excited about? There's a whole room of cheese here that just smells incredible. We just stood and hung out in there for about 15 minutes. We're going up to the homeware. That is where it's all about. Oh, look at this beauty. The spas down there. This flower shop smells amazing. And I love these vases. I love that one. Oh, we've just managed to book a private yoga class for the eight of us at 4.30, so that should be interesting. I've never done yoga, I've only ever done Pilates, and I'm not a very breathy spiritual person. Adam's finding my vlogging fascinating. <laughs> Everyone else bought beer and like meat for dinner, and I basically bought lemon drizzle cake and crumbles. No, gem Three bought, crumbles. Gem bought mugs. Obviously. I'm really quite happy right now. This, this place is beautiful. There's quite a lot of people here because I think people come here for lunch, but we're just like have our little cottage here. The restaurant and the shop is just over there. I'm sitting having Olivia's crumble. I'm definitely going to go back to that shop tomorrow and buy some stuff before I go home. I'm a bit overwhelmed now. But we've just booked uh, as a spa here and we wanted to do some kind of like yoga or Pilates class. I didn't bring any stuff with me, annoyingly. They said they can do a private class for us. Um, there's like eight of us, so they can just make it a class. So we're going to do at 4.30 yoga. I've never done yoga before. I've done Pilates. So we're going to do yoga and I've got like really gross humongous tracksuit bottoms and a t-shirt and no sports bra so I'm gonna look really cool but I think it'll be really fun so I'm looking forward to that. Rich pick the nice red one for Gemma. These are cooking apples at home. Yeah they are. I love them. No, no, that yeah that one. Yeah. Oh it came off easily. I don't want it, it's no. mouldy. <laughs> okay now everyone on the vlog's gonna tell me if I'm wasting an apple. We're going into the field of sheep. Sheeps. Ben! No, no, did, to me. Can I tell you that the sheep, the sheep bar his <laughs> name? Remember when we went camping? When we went camping, my child, my niece, my children, my nieces and nephews thought the sheep bar. Ben. <laughs> ben. 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 Come on, people. We don't really know the field etiquette, and I feel like we're definitely walking on someone's private field right now with their private sheep. What's in someone's garden? What? Field fetiquette. Etiquette. Field, Field etiquette. Oh, fetiquette. We don't know the fetiquette around here. Worst sound. We've just spent the last hour not walking very far because we kept stopping to take photos and slow-mo videos of us jumping in a field with such Londoners. We're going to walk back now and go to our yoga class. We're in the spa and we're ready for our yoga class. finished our yoga and it was hard but it was fun. I've never done yoga. It was interesting. 
I can't do it until I'm too old. It's a bit relaxy. I can't do it until too old. It's kind of more of a well being thing, isn't it, rather than a fitness thing? It's mindful. There's so much of it is mindfulness. Have you seen the mindfulness books downstairs? No. There's different types of yoga. Some's faster than others. Some's more flowing. Some's more flowing. Is that quite a slow one? That was a bit more static, like one position. It's nice, relaxy though. Feeling very zen, and we just went by the shop before it closes to get some more stuff for dinner. What did you get there? Cheddar pickles and pickles. And cheddar. And award winning cheddar. Heritage and tomato and chili jam and pickle. And they gave us their marshmallows that they made on their cookery school for free. Oh, that's nice. We can put them on the fire. <laughs> now we're going to go back to the cottage and get in some chill clothes. Look at the sunset tonight. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like something out like the Lion King. Okay, the boys are in charge of the meat and the girls are in charge of salads and sides, so I'm going to cut up the potatoes. Look what SJ has just showed me she has. French skipping! I don't know if any of you guys did this at school, but me and SJ were like, Jenny was a pro, she used to do Nexies. No. Do you know she did Nexies? Ankles, kneesies, hipsies, Nexies. Who wants to go first? You can go first. We're going to play articulate now. We had a delicious dinner. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to end the vlog. Things are getting out of hand. We're all going to sleep. Lovely weekend. Did you have a nice birthday weekend? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.